Hi guys, another little assembly kit I picked up in a charity shop for a pound. Is that Ino box kit? Morse code, build your own Morse code unit. Find all you need to understand and send coded messages. And two AA batteries. Okay. Uh, looks like it might have been assembled before, and seeing that bit of wire hanging loose there. I think this might be a slightly longer build because that looks like that's broken. Pretty sure that that bit is supposed to be there. There's a good chance we won't get that to solder on there either. Is that what we call a pizzo? Piezo? Yeah. Let's see what else we've got. Oh. oh. That's the battery container. Uh, that's some interesting looking springy clip things. Some bits of wire push button or momentary switch transistor resistor capacitor and a, a coil I want to call it um, inductor that's not the word I'm trying to think of well, there's your Morse code choke coil Hmm. Okay. Let me see all of those bits go in there. So we'll go ahead and do it even though we might have a little bit of a problem with that speaker. I don't know how you pronounce it. <laughs> Pizzo, Piezo, Piezo, transducer. All right, let's get all these in place. This is the same as one of those breadboards. Ah, I wonder which way round they're supposed to fit. Didn't think about that. It shouldn't matter. wonder how old this is. That looks pretty corroded up there. Ah. I'm narrowly pushing them all in there, but I've run out. Insert the links onto the circuit board 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 12, 13, 16, 17, 18, 19. Hmm. 
I see. They're numbered on this side. Let's just take that out of the way for now, because that's just causing trouble. Right, so we'll have to do that again. One, two, three, four, five, twelve, thirteen, oh gosh, it's not even easy to see the writing on there, no, I got that wrong, one, two, three, four, five, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, So start again. One, two, three, four. We need one, two, three, four, five. We've got, and then we need twelve, thirteen. Seventeen, so we don't need that one, and that one, and that one, and that one. I suppose this is a good example of one should have read the full instructions before starting. So that's twelve, thirteen. Still got it wrong. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. There you go guys, if you're going to do this, read, fully read the instructions first. So that's going to go in there, but we have to see if there's anything we can do to salvage this. I strongly doubt it. Well... I'll go and see if I can solder that. I don't think it's going to work. Let's go and see what I can do. Well, I've soldered it, but I would honestly say the chances of that working on a scale of 1 to 10 is at least minus 1. <laughs> I've tried it before in the past, it never works. I don't know what it is they use to get it on there. But soldering it never seems to work. 
And that's my second attempt at soldering it on there. I still don't hold out any hope for it. The other problem I've got is I now don't know which way round it's supposed to go. Although I expect looking at that diagram there, if it doesn't work we could try swapping it. I have to be very gentle with this. Right, okay, so that's in place. We've got these wired up. I don't know if they're supposed to make contact with each other. Oh, we'll find out. Okay, so linking wires. That wire. They show them all coiled up. goes to 13 that wire goes to number one Two. One, two goes to five. One, two, three, five. Two goes to five. Oh, that's two. Oh, come on. Yeah, got a connector in there. Doesn't seem to grip. Have to take it apart again because the connector in there is not gripping. All right. Well, just an update as far as I've got. Those connectors in there, those little 
springy things are absolutely useless. I've spent a ridiculous amount of time trying to get those wires in place and we haven't even started trying to put the circuit components in. Right, well we'll carry on. But this really has got to be one of the worst kits I've ever tried to assemble. I would be being polite if I said it was absolute rubbish. Right, transistor. One, two, three. Okay. I think we've got zero chance of that working. Resistor goes between four and five. <laughs> Every time I touch anything, things drop out. Capacitor. 16 and 17. I mean, it is all laid out nicely. It's those stupid little connectors. Choke. Ah, right. The shortest one goes to 20. Okay. What happened there was the springy bit just fell out. Look at that, it's hopeless. Absolutely hopeless. And the button goes up there. Well, I'll go and get some batteries. Nothing. Not a sausage. We don't know whether that's because the piazzo. What did they call it? Transducer. Whether that's faulty or any of these wires are not making contact. And that's springing out. Well, I'm sorry, but it's a pile of junk. Absolute pile of junk. best thing I could do is try and solder the wires together directly. Okay. 
How complicated can they make it? Oh, that's making a noise. Well, it did for a second. No, nope, not making a noise now. Rubbish. Right, I've gone over and above what should be required here. I've actually soldered the wires together to get the circuit, and it does now buzz. But also, it's such a high pitch, I can hardly hear it. So I may have to edit the video to reduce the pitch. So if anybody who's watching this has hearing like me, a high pitch like that is virtually inaudible. Now that's probably because I've had to re-solder the back of that uh, piazzo, piazzo, pizzo, pizza, <laughs> transducer. So, yeah, the circuitry works, the connectors are useless, if I was a youngster putting this together, what age range did it say? Age 8 plus. I would be, well, I'd have given up by now, to be honest. Absolute rubbish. designed with the best intentions you know those connectors in the back of there just like your normal breadboard 
so it should be like breadboard building but I couldn't get them to grip so I've ended up, you might be able to see there's some pretty lumpy horrible soldering there but we're there Hopeless. Pile of junk. We might just as well have given you a breadboard and talk you through connecting it to a breadboard. Without those being so useless, this probably would have been alright. Oh, of course, the um, solder bit had fallen off the back of there as well, hadn't it? And that may be why it's such a high pitch, because I've had to re-solder that may, that may have changed the pitch it would have buzzed at. There you go, I've soldered the legs on. Soldered the resistor in place. Soldered the switch. Soldered the capacitor. The only thing I haven't soldered actually is the transistor. Mm. Yeah, right. Well, there you go. No idea how old it is. I've seen similar out in charity shops. Mm. What a shame. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and Enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.